I'm Lisa Martin with Pampered Chef and welcome to my kitchen. Um, what I'm going to be doing um, now is I'm going to be using our mix and chop. All of my hostesses for the month of April, if their party ends in April, they will get one of these mix and chops free. I have had this for years and I absolutely love it. So I'm going to show you how to use it so that you'll want one too of your own. You can either have a party and once your party hits $200, then you have earned one of these from me, not counting the, mo the money that you get from Pampered Chef. Most of our hosts get between $200 and $250 worth of free product. So that's a lot. That's a biggie. Um, I want to show you this personal. It's, a, it's our small spatula and I've had it for a long time, but it's great for getting anything like out of a pan. If you need to get something like bread or something or a cake out of a pan, you can go around the edges and it will, um, you know, it'll get it out so you can turn it upside down. It will also cut a little bit. It's not real sharp. It's not sharp or anything, but it will get you like a serving size of something. Cheesecake I use it for. I use it for everything and I've had it for a long time and I really, really love it. So I wanted you to know about that. Something that I just got was this new knife, and I just love it. It cuts just like velvet, and they always put plastic on top for the for the safety of it, so that you don't have to worry about getting cut with them, because their knives are very, very sharp. Now, here in the country, we like to use deer meat. So, I'm, you're going to see these scissors a lot, but they still sell them, so they must be have been a great product. I know I love them and of course it always says the Pamper Chef on the side of it. This pan is not one of theirs. That's on my wish list. I want one of their frying pans. Actually I want their whole their whole set everything. The ovenware but I'm going to take this off the and cut it off because I don't like to touch the meat. And what I like to do is I like to season my meat as I go. So I'm going to put this on medium and I made up my own seasoning or I got it off of YouTube or something, but I keep it in this shaker so that I can, um, the, as the meat cooks, it can be, and I just use a very little of it. It's seasoned salt, it's a pink salt, and it's got gar uh, garlic in it. I'll look up the recipe and put it below so you'll have it, but I'm just gonna put a little bit over on this. Sometimes I brown um, bacon before and then use the bacon grease in it so it has a little bit of a bacon taste. Um, I don't like onion, so sometimes I cut up um, fresh, uh, not green peppers, but like the pink, I mean the red and the yellow ones I really like, and I cut them up in celery and put it in with it. Today I'm going to be using this amino acid. If you have never tried that, you can use this in place of soy sauce. It is so, uh, it is so, it tastes just like soy sauce. And I use it a lot. It's really good for you. We don't get enough amino acid. Do uh, a liquid aminos. Look it up and do a study on it. It's real interesting. It's things. It's something that we need, but we don't get enough of it every day. So I use this in a lot. So today, what I'm going to do is brown this meat because I brown. I'm doing some food prep, but I don't ever brown any meat. This is good for um, not only browning meat, but it's also good for eggs. It's good for a lot of things. And it, what it does is it chops those, the meat up real fine. So um, this is what I'm going to use. And what you do is you just kind of chop it down like I'm doing in a circular motion. And you don't have to worry about this scratching. It's a type of nylon or something that you don't have to worry about it. Um, scratching your cookware if you've got some nice cookware that you like. Um, but I just want you to see the... Um, how it chops up the meat for you and you just keep you know keep it going and these these little things here kind of chop if they're not sharp but they're sharp enough for the the meat to to make it small so what I'm gonna do is brown this I've already put some of this on it now I'm gonna put some amino acid but I use this for a lot of things I use this in a lot of things this amino acid this brags it's all natural there's nothing in it that you have to worry about but this kind of gives it a um, Chinese taste if you want Chinese and what I'll probably do with this brown meat um, is probably put like a bag of um, coleslaw mix in it one day this week and make you know just have uh, in some more of the uh, liquid amino and I'll just have uh, we'll have Chinese one night and then you've got your 
vegetables and everything it's healthy and you, you can even add you can add meat but you don't even have to I have and I can add meat to it but you don't have to another thing that's good to have around and it's really I can't hardly take it I mean you're supposed to be able to take it like by the tablespoon but I can't I just gag and I throw up and I, but it's so good for you it's the apple cider vinegar with the mother in it there's lots of apple cider vinegars out there, but they don't have the mother in it. They've got to have the mother in it, and you've got to look to make sure it's in there. This is Bragg's, too. But you can get it at Kroger. I think Walmart's even selling it now, too. But you got to shake it up really good. It's really good in salad dressings. And to get it in your, in, it's good to put in your meat so that you can, because it's good for you. But I just can't take it. I mean, I, just, I have tried different ways of taking it, and I just cannot do it. It's just, I don't know, I guess I'm a sissy. But, um... What you do is you just keep turning it like this, as so. And it may, it's funny because I like I, I love deer meat, and I have a, uh, you know, that I, I get two deer a year. But then I would put it with my processed food, like hamburger helper or something. And here I was eating the meat healthy, but what I was putting with it had all kinds of preservatives in it and stuff. So when I started seeing that, then... I started, you know, seeing that what what was the sense of using good meat if I wasn't doing the rest of it right. Um, this is a Pampered Chef uh, recipe that I absolutely love. It was in the Seasons Best the last time, and I just made it into keto. They have Seasons Best uh, recipe books, and there's 15 recipes in them, brand, and they're quick and easy. They understand we're busy, but I've never been big on recipe books because I just kind of make things that I've always known. But now that I've done the keto, I have really gotten into recipes, and I really like the quick and easy ones. I, I, I always would buy a cookbook, and it would have 25 things in it that I didn't have in my house. <laughs> and so going buying something to make one, a bunch of things, to, if, to go out and buy a bunch of things just to make one dish, I didn't see the value in it. So I didn't, I stopped buying cookbooks and I had a few. Well, now I'm going back into my cookbooks and some of the things that I like that I see, I'm making them keto. And then I can also make them regular and just make two different platefuls. But as you can see, this makes it so much easier than, I, I mean, you'll never use anything else to brown or to do scrambled eggs or anything like that once you have one of these mix and shops. So I want you to give me a thumbs up if you can. I want you to share this, please, and please subscribe. And if you want one of these for free, um, then I, you have a party, a virtual party. It's all done on Facebook. All you have to do is spend about five minutes a day, um, you know, saying whatever, I, you know, being part of the show. It takes about five minutes a day. And you get all the free things. And um, this will be free from me as a thank you gift for holding a party in April. So I hope you have a great day and see you next time.